my name's Sabrina. Uh, I'm Jewish. I'm from London and I'm program manager of Religions for Peace in the UK. Um, today, we've chosen to talk a little bit about the climate and about religious people's responses to it. Um, I'm Ashling and I work for Pax Christi England and Wales. Uh, we're a Catholic peace movement, uh, but I live in Northampton and I am a Catholic Christian. Our concerns are to do with education and with sharing best practice. Um, we believe that religious people do have a role to play um, in helping with the, the climate crisis situation because they have a unique influence in society. They can talk to the people around them and educate their congregations. Um, and we believe that's really important. At Religion to Peace in the UK, we've responded to the climate crisis by running educational uh, sessions for the community. Um, and we've also set up a peace grove of uh, trees in Scotland, which we're really excited about. And we're going to get people from different faiths to all add trees into the grove. Um, we also do outreach work. Um, we reach out to diplomats and to the government to try and make concrete changes in society because we believe that we can and as religious people that we should. Um, so which faith communities are involved in, in this project? For us, it's, it's all of them. Um, because the climate is a common issue that all of us share. It's pervasive and it affects all of us. It's an example of what we've got in common, you know, um, and we've got a lot in common. Um, Ashling uh, over here is a member of our organization's youth network. Um, they've been really active in this area recently. Um, I was wondering if you could update us on what the youth network has been up to in the last year. We kind of have done a survey with young people to um, try and find out what their concerns were um, and maybe unsurprisingly the, the climate and the environment uh, was one of those concerns. So we organised um, some kind of Zoom conversations uh, called My Faith and Environment and there were two sessions where we invited people from um, a range of faith communities um, and it did go to two because there were that many communities involved um, to talk a little bit about um, their faith and the environment and how they were responding to the climate crisis um, and so the calls were virtual so we could join from all across the country and we also had people joining us from other countries as well and it was organized by young people but actually a whole um, a whole range of ages took part um, and I think something that for me was really a lovely part of these conversations was the chance to and kind of listen to some speakers and get really inspired by the things that they were doing. But then afterwards to talk in breakout groups in kind of smaller groups uh, with people from different communities and um, to hear about what, what they'd learned um, but also what they were doing um, and to just have that safe environment to really reflect and discuss uh, on the kind of relationship between our faith and the environment and how we respond to the climate crisis. Um, and hopefully uh, from that we've had kind of interfaith friendships form as well where we've had kind of organizations have kind of been in touch to try and uh, get in contact with kind of each other to invite each other then to their own talks and um, in other places so um, I think that's a really exciting way um, to kind of learn but then also to, to kind of build that network of people of faith working for the environment. Mm -hmm.